With us now is Michio Kaku, a physics professor at the City University of New York and a best-selling author. Good morning. Morning. Is this much ado about nothing? Well, all week I've been telling people, don't quit your day job. For God's <laughs> sake, pay your rent and do your laundry. You know, the irony is the Mayans never made this prophecy. The Mayan calendar is cyclical. One cycle ends, another cycle begins. But this was hijacked hijacked by a doomsday machine that every 10 years sells books, does TV specials propagating these things. Remember uh, Y2K? Every 10 years. Mm -hmm. So I was going to ask about where does the all hype come from, and it comes from money, people wanting to make a buck. That's right. This is a cash cow, unfortunately. It's a cash cow because there are over 3,000 books available on the Internet about this, this so-called disaster. Now, if the so-called prophecy were correct, all you have to do is look up. The sky should be on fire. We should be colliding with a black hole or the 10th planet out there. But hey, it's raining and snowing. The sky is not on fire. All right, Professor, you are a physics professor. So explain to us what it would take to bring the end of the world. Well, there are the possibilities of a meteor or cometary impact, like what happened 65 million years ago when an object about six miles across slammed into Mexico. However, even though that event killed the dinosaurs, we see no evidence, no evidence of any meteor or comet out there in outer space at the present time. And then let me ask you about this year is going to end up being the hottest mm. year on record. What does that say about the state of our planet? You know, this Mayan prophecy thing, I think, is a detour because there's some real problems facing the planet Earth. As you pointed out, um, this year could go down as one of the hottest years ever recorded in the history of science going back more than a century. This decade could go down as the hottest decade ever recorded. So there's some real problems facing the Earth, but this is a detour, a distraction from what we really have to face, like the heating up of the planet Earth. That's a real problem. And is there a point of no return on, on global warming? Well, we think there's still time, okay? If we were to rein in greenhouse gases, we think there's still time. However, realize that the North Pole, the North Pole could be gone by mid-century. And our children will tell us that Santa Claus is a myth because they know Santa Claus is not real because there is no North Pole. So that's the legacy we're going to be leaving our children with glaciers receding, the North Pole thinning every year. All right, Professor Kaku, thank you.